on to the 1st of December, word has this year gone, um, I've got a few things I want to show you at home. Um, now then, uh, the people who subscribe to me to, to, to have a watch of my garden and stuff might be, not be into what I'm going to show you next, but I've always wanted to get into home brewing, it's just something I've always wanted to try to do. I am an ex-pub landlord, me and my lovely wife Victoria used to run pubs years ago, up and down this wonderful country of ours, um, and I've always been passionate about cask ales and um, good beers and wines of course. So, this is something I want to get into. I've subscribed to a lot of homebrew channels. Um, so, I know I've had a couple of replies and a couple of resubscribes, but what I want is information. So, I'm going to show you now what I've got. Uh, there's a lovely fella called Uncle Harry. Now, he's not my uncle, but I know him as Uncle Harry, who's given me a load of stuff. He's gone into hospital, he's not well, and we don't think he's going to be coming out. He's going to go into curvy thing. So, he's given me a lot of his homebrew stuff. So I'm going to show you around, there's a few bits that I need to show you because I've got problems with my strawberries as well. What I'm going to do guys, is I'm going to show you it all now. Okay, so, I've got, Uncle Harry was a very keen brewer. Now, as well as inheriting uh, quite a bit of his kit, I've inherited some of his beers as well. Now, you're not going to get that with the sun there, I don't think. But, I've got some beers, Um and some wines, and now I've had one of these on the weekend, and it's gorgeous, he used the wine um, concentrate to make his wines with. Now what I do is I decant the wine into that jug, <laughs> you can tell he's a northern lad. Hey, no carafes up here, pint, uh, two pint beer mugs. <laughs> right, so guys, I'm assuming this needs a hole in the top for them Urlocks. I've seen you guys doing that. Now, Uncle Harry's never put one in, obviously, so I don't know what, what's what. It looks a bit tatty and a bit rolling, but I'm not going to spend a lot of money doing this. This is the whole point of it. Now then, this is some of the stuff I've inherited. That's obviously a bottle cleaner. I don't know what the hell half of this stuff is in here. Some old pipes. Obviously, they need binning and redoing. I can get them from Wilkie's, apparently. Um, some airlocks. I'm not sure what that is. Anybody want to tell me what that is? Um, also, caps, etc. These, I don't know what these are. Gallon jars. Hmm, not sure. Now then, there's a, a quite a few. Hydrometers, etc. in here. And there's a um, the thermometer. There's some hydrometers. There's quite a few in there. There's a few bits. There's, I don't know what that is. It looks like an old garter. <laughs> What's Uncle Harry been up to on a weekend? Corks. Now, what is this? It looks like a mouse trap to me. <laughs> so if you can help me. Something written on the back there. You can tell it's old stuff because it's all from Boots. I don't know if anyone buys stuff from Boots anymore. Um, they're the foil caps for the tops of the wine. Now then, I've obviously been watching the new people that I've subscribed to who do brew. And I've found this. A brew belt. Now I'm assuming Uncle larry has got a brew belt somewhere. So I'm going to go and have a route round in his garage. He's allowed me to go and have a look. So I'm assuming he's got one of these brew belts which goes around... The ferment bin, um, which is what I need, because if I'm going to do this, I think the one bit of kit that I'm going to need is a brew belt. Okay, guys, so anyone, any information, you can all help me. I want to brew wines and beers. Okay, I'm going to give it a go, and because I've not spent a lot, any money on this at all, apart from obviously the beer I'm going to have to buy, the, the kit, is if it doesn't work, it can all go back in Uncle Harry's garage, or someone else can have it. So this is what I didn't want to do, is spend a lot of money. Um, so yes, yeah, so there's a few bits and bats. I'm assuming that's where the hydrometer goes in. So if you help me with that, guys. Right, okay, chicory. We have been eating this chicory. I say we, that's the royal we. There's only me eating it. Look at that now. All you do, slice it off at the top, and then you eat it like that. Um, it's, it's very, very bitter, but beautiful. But look at them for she-cons. I'm so proud of that. This is why I grow it every year. Beautiful. Chilies, all looking good now. These chilies now have all started to dry out properly. Um, I was talking to a gentleman on YouTube who was telling me to buy one of these hydrators, but I'm happy with them just def defrosting. <laughs> I 
I'm happy with them just drying like this. Um, I'll show you a few more, but you'll have to excuse this room, it's a bloody mess. Um, I've got Demijohns off him. I've got bottles, these are the bottles of wine I've got, you know, look at these, and that's a crate of beer. Now he's got loads of these empty bottles, these empty wine bottles, these empty beer bottles, he's got tons of them in his garage. So, I'm going to go and get all them. That's what I'm going to use for now. Um, onions are going down well, garlic is going really well. And well done to Mike Valencia over there in Australia, he's grew some fantastic garlic which he, can't, he normally can't do in the southern hemisphere, but he's done really well, so a big thumbs up for you there Mark. Potatoes are going down. So yeah, that's it with the home brewing. I know Woody, Mr Woody, if you're listening, um, if you can give me any advice on brewing mate, because I know you do it, and I know you know that I've been interested in doing this for a while. So right, okay, let me show you the strawberries now. I don't actually think that I've got strawberries. I don't know what I've done here. I think I've done something really wrong and you're all gonna laugh at me. Right, they are what I recognize as a strawberry runner. They are not. What have I done here? What have I cut off? Let me try and get a good, the leaves are nothing like. Now I took these off Stephen's strawberry plants next door, my lovely neighbor who allowed me to take them because he's got a fantastic variety. But if you look at that one, that. We all know that as a strawberry. What is that? Is it going to turn into strawberry? You know, are these just because they were young runners? But these actually came off the plants. And these, the cells, were kicking out strawberry runners. So, you know, I'm not 100% sure. So if anyone can help me with that, and anyone can help me with the home brewing, that would be really much appreciated. Okay, guys. I'll leave you with that lovely shot of my girls there. Okay guys, all help, all, all advice welcome. Speak to you all soon.